What's up everybody? Today I am at Knobles Theme Park in Ellisburg, Pennsylvania. This is a theme park that I've heard a lot of good things about. It looks like a lot of fun, but I have never been here before. So you're gonna be joining me on my first time coming here. So let's have some fun today. So one thing that's really cool about this park is it is free admission. You can walk right in and out and you just pay per ride. So you can go on, pay for what you wanna go on. Being here is free, pretty sweet. Check out this roller coaster right here. That's a steep drop. So it looks like they got their mascot here, Cosmo, riding on the back of a dinosaur. That's pretty neat. And here's something absolutely incredible. We have a building shaped like a giant loaf of bread. That's, that's amazing. Where else are you gonna go and see that? Yeah, just just look at this piece of bread right here. How cool is that? It even has uh, all the detail on the crust on the outside. That's that's really amazing. It's not something you see every day. And take a look at this cool fire truck from 1940. That's beautiful. Check out the security office with these really cool wooden sculptures. You got this big old dog, you got a security guard, a beggar, and a bear. Pretty cool. So it doesn't look like it's running today, but they got this really big log flume. And check out this Viking right here. Look at how cool this guy is. His, uh, his complexion's a little green. Uh, I don't know what that means. Yeah, too bad this isn't running because this looks like a really cool ride. And just look at these gears underneath it. Check that out. That is an old school ride right there. Yeah, and just check out this big pirate right here. Yeah, and so this ride's not running, but just look at how beautiful this is. Just look at the colors and all the artwork on it. Ah, uh, it's beautiful. Oh, and right here we got an arcade. Look at that, all lit up with all the neon. I love me a good arcade. Let's go take a look inside this one, see what they got here. This is something I've never seen before. It's a big Monopoly dice game. I really don't know how this works, but it's cool looking. And right up top there, you can see the old signs from old arcade machines. Love that. Yeah, just look at all this old cabinet art. Oh, I love that stuff so much. That's so cool. Just right up here, you even got Mortal Kombat. That's pretty neat. And just look at this. This is a pavilion shaped like a giant birthday cake. That's really cool. Seems like there's a lot of buildings here that are shaped like things. Very fun, very kitschy. That's what I like about this park. All right, now this is really cool and unique. Do you see this water wheel here? And it's attached to this contraption, this axle with all these gears on it. Pretty cool looking. And what this does is it turns this canopy right above where people are eating. And right here, we have a stone sculpture of a lighthouse. Pretty cool. And just check out this guy right here next to it. Salty old lighthouse keeper. Look at this Ferris wheel planter. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, that's nice. This place has so much charm. And this is a fudge shop right here, and it looks like just like a little fairy tale cottage. How nice is this? They really put a lot of thought and effort into this place. It's really cool. Look at this creepy child. So tucked back here in this quiet corner of the park, looks like we have some bald eagles here. Just look at these guys. Let me zoom in on them a little bit. If you've never seen one of these up close, you just, you can't really appreciate just how large they are. I've seen a few. But they're, they're really big birds. Almost looks like they're having a conversation with each other. Oh, and just look at this beautiful carousel they have here. Yeah. Oh, I love carousels. This one's, oh, it's so beautiful. So I think this one actually has brass rings that you can grab. Yeah. 
That's cool. I've never actually been on one where you can actually do that. But that's cool. And just look at this organ. Nineteen ten. So this is over a hundred years old. Oh, that's so cool. So they have a carousel museum here. This is gonna be great. I have to go check this out. Wow, just look at this menagerie of carousel animals right here. Right here we got this big big chicken. Don't think I've ever seen a chicken on a carousel before. We got a prancing reindeer. Kind of got a red nose like Rudolph. And a big old giraffe. Well, not as big as a real giraffe, but still pretty impressive. Just look, just look at how old this one is. Just look at how beautiful. Oh, this is so cool. I don't know why. I love carousels and I don't know, I feel a little a little emotional, a little nostalgic when I see these. I think about the one I rode on as a kid, which is no longer there, in Seaside, which was destroyed in a fire. But, you know, coming here looking at these, it's just it's wonderful. It's amazing. Let's look at this camel. And just right over here we got a we got a tiger and we got an ostrich. That's pretty darn cool. Just look at this one. And they got all kinds of cool signs and adornments from other carousels over here. Looks like a Oregon Trail trying to ford the river. Look at this creature right here, this uh, dragon. I guess that's what this is. Or is this a griffin? I don't know. It's cool, that's for sure. We even got President Polk right here. I don't know why. So the park even has its own museum about the history of the park. Let's go check this out. So we're in the middle of coal country in Pennsylvania, so there's a lot of coal mine themed stuff. I think this is a coal mining museum. Pretty cool. Look at all these old mining helmets. Check out that one, which actually has like an oil lamp on the top of it. Could you imagine going into a coal mine with a burning flame on your head? I wouldn't do that. I was not expecting to see this in the coal mine museum, but we got a giant goofy looking T-Rex. Get a load of this guy. Oh, he is amazing. I guess that's where coal comes from. Dino juice. Looks like we got some mannequins here of rescue operations used in coal mining. I guess when things go wrong, check out this guy with his epic mustache they got all kinds of gear and implements of destruction right here yeah so right in back of that is the park history museum and right here we got these animatronics which look like uh, rock of fire explosion animatronics pretty creepy in my opinion even got part of a ferris wheel in here yeah, so apparently this park opened in 1926. So this is almost a hundred year old park. Really amazing that it's still here. All right, so this is a big disappointment for me. This is a coal mine themed dark ride. And unfortunately it is closed today. And this was one of the main reasons I came to this park was to go on this ride and it's not running, but that's life. I'll come back another day. There'll be another chance. And maybe I'll take you with me. Check out this big ear of corn. Wearing a pack of butter as a hat. And he's got the world at his fingertips. So this park features a trackless roller coaster. Not really sure how that works, but you got these cool tubes. I guess the uh, cart goes through them? I'm not sure. 
but unfortunately it's not operating today so I'm not gonna be able to find out I guess I'll have to wait till my next trip all right so I've been walking around this park for a couple hours now showing you all the sites checking everything out uh, I'm gonna take a break from filming go put my camera in my car and actually go ride on some of these rides and I'm gonna come back and tell you how they went I don't think I'm gonna be able to film on any of these rides today but I'll give you some reviews on the ones I go on alrighty so I've gone on a couple rides I'm gonna show you what I went on and tell you what I think it's getting a little darker and they got this sign turned on really beautiful neon really cool okay so I took a ride on this ride and I gotta say I didn't really like it very much it um kind of made me want to throw up and I regretted every minute of it alrighty so I went on this one called the twister which is a wooden roller coaster and this one was a lot of fun I really enjoyed it had a lot of banked turns um, had one big steep drop I'm not a big fan of the steep drops I kind of avoid rides that have them but this one wasn't too bad I thought it was fun went really fast okay so I also went on this ride called the Phoenix which is another wooden coaster and I really liked this one. This one was a lot of fun. Um, the first part of the ride, it takes you through a little tunnel where you're in almost complete darkness. I really wasn't expecting that, and that was cool. And just, you know, during the drops and the hills, it, I was just getting a lot of air. Um, I was being lifted up out of my seat, but yet, you know, my lap bar was keeping me in place. So it, it felt like a lot of fun, and it was a nice, comfortable ride. A lot of fun, I highly recommend going on this one. And check this out, they even got a miniature version of the ride on display here. How cool is this? Look at that. Oh, we even got some little people here. Oh, they got a little mascot down there. Okay, so there's one more ride I'm gonna go on tonight. Haunted Mansion. Let's do this.
That haunted house was amazing. I loved that, that was so much fun. So thank you for joining me on my first trip to Knobles in Pennsylvania. What an amazing park. Just so much uniqueness, so much charm, so much cool stuff to see here. And I think what I loved most about this park was that it was, the theming was uniquely Pennsylvania, the spirit of the culture of Pennsylvania. You had all sorts of Pennsylvania Dutch architecture, food, things like that. You had all this cool coal mining history stuff. So definitely the spirit of Pennsylvania was captured in this park and I thought that was really cool to see. Nowhere else do you really see that in a theme park. Um, also, you know, free admission. What's better than that? I spent $20 on tickets and I didn't even use all of them. Got to go on four really good rides. And um, my only real complaint about this place is it's a little hard to navigate. Um, I kept getting lost trying to find my way from one spot to the next. But, um, you know, overall the atmosphere of the park, it made it, you know, so it was fun to be walking around. So it didn't really bother me that much. So I definitely recommend coming here. It was a really fun time. So my name is Ray. My channel is Ray out there. If you like this video, please hit subscribe to join me on my adventures in the future. Thank you for watching.